Welcome to this episode and uh, in this tutorial that I'm doing here I'm going to show you one thing and that is how to uh, overclock in Linux not the overclock itself but how to use the proper tools that you need for overclocking so first of all the I have a disclaimer and the disclaimer is simple and that is all that I'm showing here for you it's uh, up to you it's only a guide you cannot uh, only do the same as I do and think that everybody works works out of the box for you any shape is different any any motherboard is different um, so use this only as, as a guide okay so to start uh, the best thing to overclock your CPU is to do it in your BIOS and what you need to find out uh, is how much voltage you can put on your CPU and etc uh, etc et to make everything work so in my case as you may know already I'm using a AMD as you can see here I'm using a software that's called CPU X this software is uh, is like CPU Z in uh, Windows if you have used that one before it's almost the same and this CPU is normally run around 3.6 and has a boost clock it kicks up to I think to 4.1 or 4.2 gigahertz when it's needed. What I have done with this CPU is I overclocked it to 4414 megahertz. See it's changing there a little. So that's what I have done. And I have put 1.4 volts on the CPU. That is not all the settings you need to do in your BIOS to make this one to work. Okay, so this is about the software we will use so in this case we are using as you can see CPU X because we have a full um, view here over the temperatures that we are having and it's low as you can see why is it this low because I'm using an AIO and you need to have a proper cooling solution to be able to overclock you cannot use the the standard cooler that comes with your CPU that's impossible so <coughs> now when we come this far so you have overclocked your system you have a view over everything you need a tool and the best tool to use is this one it's called GTK stress testing this is an amazing tool which make you stress uh, all the cores here on your CPU and you can run a test CPU all method 30 minutes work is out and you press start what it will do well, if I start this one all the cores here they will drop to max which means that after this is done you can you can look at your temperatures here you will see uh, if it will be stable if it's not stable of course your computer will shut off you will freeze or whatever is the is the case so here you can also see the current temperature the minimum temperature and the max temperature that this CPU has been used now so as you can see here in this case it's a very very super good tool I will put a link to this tool so you actually know where, where to find it and it's also uh, very easy to to install so for all of you that is an overclock or maybe you have come from Windows and turn over to Linux and you want to overclock but you want to find the proper tools this is the tools that you will will like to use for sure okay i like to thank you 
very much for watching this time and I hope that you will find this one uh, useful and uh, I think you will and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, I will come back with more videos and I'd like to thank you very much for your support thank you very much